So here's my UPS. When I pull the cord, the UPS turns off. So I'm going to use this for my homemade standby UPS using lithium batteries. So here's the lithium battery I'm going to use, 32 amp hours of capacity. So this is the transformer that blew up. The lithium battery will just fit 240 volts wired up to the relay and it's switching. So here's the battery I'm going to disassemble. I've taken away the fabric tape here. There we go. There we go. And take this cap on tape off. So one, 4.19, and 4.19. And you can see it starts to get wet. You've got to keep that heat on. And the, the wire will come off. And just like that, a couple of seconds, the cell is now free. There we go. 4.19 volts plus negative all six cells are separated and in voltage order. There we go. So now they're in parallel. So now I've got my three cells and they're two in parallel each. Uh, in a 3S, 2P, so positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So here's a comparison 7 amp hour battery pack. This is a 12 volt, 32 amp hour battery pack and it's a lot lighter. So here's my final battery highly compressed it so that way the cells can't puff out the battery is very nice and balanced when i unplug the power the relay will click and the battery will fire up the inverter and just like that you can hear the inverter kicks on the batteries are now pulling 211 watts and the printer is unaffected. I've just mounted the relay. Now I've also got the battery BMS uh, mounted to the battery and it's all going. So here's the 600 watt inverter. Now I'm just going to extend these 240 volt leads. So my LCD screen arrived today in a really big 500 amp shunt. I'm running the 3D printer off the battery in standby mode it's using 35 watts. Printer to warm up, it's pulling a big load now. There we go, 22 amps I'm pulling out of this battery. I'm using 260 watts and at this rate my battery will last one hour, 28 minutes. I've just had to widen the size of this. I need to scratch off this uh, plastic on the sides uh, because the screen is wider. So there's the new LCD screen. It'll line up nicely. Now I'm reusing the front button as the up button so that can reset the power meter. Now I've got the LCD screen mounted in the front. That's a pretty nice install. That's the new LCD screen with the scratched out sides. A little bit of the screen is cut off but you can still see the percentage if you move to the side. The shunt is sitting on top, charger is on the other side. So here's my completed UPS, it's pulling 230 watts, it's running off battery. Plug it into power, pretend the power comes, the relay clicks in, printer's unaffected, the screen is now flashing to let you know that it's charging the battery at 1 amp and the battery will be full in 1 hour 40 minutes. So here I've got my UPS all set up. The battery's on 100% and 32 amp hours. It's currently running a 3D printer. So what I'll do, I'll set the camera up to record these two screens and see how long it can run this printer at full power. So now I'm going to pull the power and that's it. The printer is now running on battery. So I'll start this timer and let's see how long it lasts. It's 
So here we are at one hour. One hour and still going. So here we are now at two hours and it's still got 23% of battery left. Okay, so the inverter is starting to beep because it's getting low voltage. We've used 30 amp hours. There we go. The printer has just shut off. Two hours, 29 minutes and 35 seconds. So the BMS has worked. It's shut down the battery to protect it. It's not very warm. So I'm recharging the UPS after a two and a half hour successful test. And it's going to take about 17 hours to recharge. That's not too bad.